Good morning. Welcome to my page. This is Beautiful Journey with Angela. I'm Angela Tierney and this is season two, episode six of Makeup Monday called Face Tan Without the Can. So if you like to spray tan, but you don't want to spray tan your face, I've got just the thing. Um, for me, I have some freckles, I have sun damage, and if I do any kind of spray tan on my face, it just magnifies those, and so I can't do it. It's not conducive to my skin, but if it's great with yours, use it, but if you want something that's just super quick, you forgot to do it, you wanna to go to the beach, whatever, this is such a good tip. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm just gonna wait a minute and let people hop on. And also, uh, if you're watching the replay, just has to hashtag, gosh, if I could talk, replay and tell me where you're watching from because it's so fun to see where everybody watches from. I am in Southern Arizona and it is actually chilly today, which is weird, right? It's May and it's going to be in the 40s tonight. <laughs> so I have long sleeves on, kind of chilly. Um, tell me what it's like where you are. Uh, maybe it's beautiful and sunny and all those great things or you could be actually cold too so let me know but anyway if you're new to mascara beauty um, I'm an independent mascara beauty artist I've been using this product their products actually for almost two years now or about a year and a half and I fell in love the concept is brilliant that's what first attracted attracted me so let me just kind of give you an idea in case you're new here Mascara Beauty has compacts and you build your own. You create what you want, so no more buying a palette where you like one or two colors and then the palette just sits there and you don't use anything else. Um, you create your own and they give free compacts out. So depending on how many things you buy, if you buy four things, you get a compact. If you buy eight things, you get the next size up, 10 things, the next size up, and this bad boy, 16 things. <laughs> so I've graduated, but I started with a smaller one and it worked great. Um, let me see if I have it here. I do. So if you bought four things, then this little compact would come with it. But I started off with the mini double decker. So this is the double decker here. I started off with the mini double decker. You buy 10 things, you get this free. And 10 things means any 10 things, literally. And it's always free shipping. What? It's amazing. So this is the little mini one. You fit six big tins here and you have a little mirror and then in the back you can put all your eyeshadows and your powders and things like that. So um, we have cream based products except the eyeshadows and cream makeup is amazing you guys. If you're not using cream makeup, I don't even know what you're doing because it makes your skin so hydrated and glowy and beautiful and um, is is super friendly so meaning if you make a mistake it's a cream just blend it <laughs> and it's perfect every time so um, we have highlights which we call their foundations we call them highlights these are contours right here um, this is Bella bronzer and these um, are both lip and cheek so all of our blushes double as lipstick which is pretty awesome and get this 14 bucks for these little things and they last forever so I've had this one since January. I've had um, these for a year and a half, never replaced, and I use them all the time. Uh, let's see, I've had this one for at least a year. And what do I have back here? Um, I have a few eyeshadows, but I'm gonna use some, actually I'm using some of our lip and cheeks as eyeshadows today. So these are eyeshadows. I've never had to replace one eyeshadow in a year and a half. So, and they're only 12 bucks. Each eyeshadow is 12 bucks, and they're so pigmented, you use just a tiny amount to get the look you're going for, whereas some of the, um, what is that? Some of the uh, eyeshadows out there that you buy, you have to use so much to get the color to show up, but these aren't like that, and they last and last. So if you're new to Mascara Beauty, that's what all of this is about, and if you wanna be color matched, I can help you pick highlight colors, which are our foundation colors. And then from there, you can just kind of, I can recommend things, but you can pick whatever you want. The link is in the description. So that's for all the new folks. And if you ever have questions, please message me. I'm here for you. 
I'll answer any questions you want. I wouldn't be on here <laughs> making Facebook Live videos and promoting this if I didn't absolutely love it so much. So I didn't, um, I didn't text a few people, let them know I'm on. So anyway, um, I think I'm just gonna get into it. So basically what I'm doing today is showing you how you can get color on your face without using a spray tan. And I'm gonna use this Bella bronzer right here. I'm gonna use that all over my face before I put my foundation on. So this color looks, looks kind of dark, doesn't it? And it's not, it's not really dark and it's sheer and it, the amazing thing about Bella Bronzer, it looks good on all skin types. So I'm kind of fair. It doesn't matter if you're super fair. It doesn't matter if you're darker. It just looks so good on everybody's skin. So this is the B squared brush and it's um, B squared meaning blush and bronzer. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this small side and I'm just tapping into this Bella bronzer and I'm just gonna start applying it all over my skin. So you can see it's already giving me that like summer glow underneath. So if you watch my videos, you know that normally Bella bronzer is kind of the last thing I do. I'll put it on my forehead after I have my makeup on. I'll put it um, on down my neck. You can warm up your cheeks with it, but look at that. I mean, already you can see it's giving me color, just like that, just that little bit. And see how it looks really natural. It's not crazy dark or weird. So I'm just gonna do half this face. That way when others pop on, they can see the difference too. So I also wanted to go over some application tips. So with a cream-based makeup, you have to be kind of careful when you moisturize and that kind of thing. So if you have oily skin, you don't even need to moisturize before you use this. It's already hydrating. It's already creamy. Um, but if you have dry skin, you do want to moisturize. But you don't want to moisturize and then immediately put your makeup on because the cream's going to slide around on a uh, moisturized face. So it's better to just moisturize and wash your face, moisturize in the morning, go about your morning, you know, do whatever, eat breakfast, get dressed, whatever it is you do, and then come back about half an hour. Um, let that foundation, I mean, that cream just sit there for a little bit and then put your cream on. So some people, when they have problems with a cream-based makeup, it's just an application problem and you can just fix that super easily. Um, or what's the other thing I was going to say, um, another common problem with people thinking that creams aren't friendly to them is they have the wrong color. So if you don't have the right color, it will not look good on your skin, but that's why I'm here because I can help you by color matching you. And it's, um, so easy. You just send me a photo. Basically I just need two photos and both taken in the same light. So one without makeup and one with your makeup. So I can kind of get an idea of how you like to wear your makeup and what color. But the other one would be like how you saw me when you first got on here, no makeup on, except I have my eyebrows on. You can do that too if you want. <laughs> you can put mascara on if you want, I don't care. But nothing on your skin, and then stand in front of a window in your house that has natural lighting. Not when, you, when you're taking a selfie of your, and you see beams on your face, that's gonna cast different colors on your skin. So basically just in natural lighting, stand in front of that window, take a step back, take a selfie, put your makeup on, same lighting, same window, do it again. And then you just send those to me. And then once I have both of those um, photos, then I can help you pick out your colors. And if you go to the link above, you can peruse that, look around and see all the beautiful things that are there and how affordable and how they last and last and last. So, all right, I'm doing my chin and my nose, but you can already see how much warmer this side looks than this side looks. And compared to my neck. 
So it is okay to put bronzer on your neck, especially if normally you have a lighter neck than your face. This is an easy fix problem. So I do this all the time. I even go down on my chest. And like I said, I've had this Bella bronzer for so long, you guys, like at least a year, and you can't even see the bottom of it because literally I'm just doing this and picking it up. See how these brushes are just incredible. So these brushes were made for the creams and they pick them up really well. I've had people, I've had clients say, oh, I already have brushes, I don't need brushes, and then they get their makeup and they've tried my brushes and so they know and then they try to use theirs and then they end up messaging me and saying, okay, <laughs> I need a brush. <laughs> I need a brush now. Because these are just so good. They're super dense, so when you push on them, um, you can't push the bristles apart. You know, some brushes you push on it and then it spreads apart. These don't do that, and um, they are super soft at the same time. It's a crazy combo, and this looks like a spider. Like, it's, <laughs> it's bugging me. Like I do my hair during the week, and it looks, looks fine, and I do a video, and I'm like, what is happening? Okay, so now I've warmed up my neck and my chest here, just so it all kind of flows. So this is, I've even done my arms, you guys. Like in the winter, I've taken a fluffy end and just kind of got on my arms <laughs> a little bit. So this you can pretty much use anywhere. But that's how you do that. All right, so got that side bronze. Now I'm gonna do the other side. But I don't know why people aren't on. This is so weird. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. So as you can see with a cream, I'm not circling, I'm not being crazy. I'm just kind of a, doing a stippling over my skin. Hey, Tony. Well, you'll have to catch the replay because <laughs> I had to start. <laughs> so now I'm, I've pretty much bronzed my entire face. Yeah, you'll have to catch the replay to see the before and after. I tried to wait for people to come on. <laughs> but you can see it just looks like I have this nice little tan going on here already. So there you go. So then when you, when you bronze your face first, you're going to need to go with a little bit darker of a color than you normally use. Maybe. I don't know. It just kind of depends on your skin. So if you're pretty fair and then you do this, it might make you where you need a little bit darker color. I'm just gonna use Sandy. So normally I would use, I mix these two anyway, Amber and, San, uh, Amber and Sandy. But I'm just gonna put Sandy on right over this. And I switch to the Buffy brush and I'm just pressing lightly, pressing a little bit of this all over. Amber might still work. Amber might be just fine. Amber and Sandy are very, very similar. So it's just a teeny bit darker, the Sandy is. But if somebody was wearing candlelit or something like that, they might wanna jump to Amber. When they when they put the villa on first. So this is how you just bake a tan super fast. And then just put your highlight right on top of it. And you don't need as much highlight when you do this. So if you already don't use much, you would barely need any. Okay, then under the eyes, I'm still gonna use that sunlit that I've told you guys about. I just love it. 
it brightens under the eye without making it look white. So it's super yellow looking right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> She's the lightest color ever. <laughs> the lightest color we have, that would be funny. <laughs> All right, so I'm putting that sunlit right here. I'm using the small end of the Buffy brush, but um, I'm going to switch because I really like this detailed hack is pretty awesome. And I just like the small end and you just barely tap and start on the inside of your eye because when you get out here, that's where your wrinkles mostly are. And to put less product on wrinkles, just start on the inside with whatever you use as a concealer. So I like this because it's a yellow undertone, so it doesn't look super white, but it brightens. And this little brush, I just love it for doing small areas like on the eyes. It just works really well. Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna mix the amber and the sandy and just kind of do these little areas. There, I have a little sun damage. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the contour. And I don't know if you guys know this, but you can melt these. So last time you saw them, they kind of, you could even see the center, but I melted them and then now look, they're like perfect again. So a funny way to do it is <laughs> you can either put it on your flat iron. So what I did is my flat, I used my flat iron, then I stuck the little tin on there for 10 seconds and then slid it off carefully because it does get hot, but there you go. Now it's like I have brand new makeup. So I'm using Astoria, which is this middle dark color there. And just going to put it kind of in the hollow of the cheekbone, just to make that cheekbone pop out. What degree? I know it is <laughs> it's crazy. Um, I think like 400, I think you can bake it too, but I will find out for sure like what you could do since I don't think you have a straightener. So there, I got my contour on there. And then my perfector sponge, I'm gonna take and just press anywhere that I don't want makeup to settle in lines. Or if you get a little too much, whatever, you just use this and it'll pick up any excess. Around the mouth is a common place too, where people put a little too much and it settles in those lines. Okay, then on my forehead, I really like this olive color here. So I'm just gonna do a little, not much because I'm already got that bronze, but I still wanna define my forehead. Let's see if that lights, there we go, bright enough. And then I'm gonna do, go lift up a little bit underneath the jaw. And this other side of the detailed hack just makes this so easy to do. I blend that out. Let's see if I can pull my phone. Hold on, I'm gonna try to lift this up a little bit. Just a little here, because I can see the comments, but I can't see myself. <laughs> Actually, I need to lower it. There we go. There. I can see your comments and I can see myself. All right. So now I'm going to I'm going to show you a super quick, super easy summer look. So these are a couple new blushes I just got. They're so pretty. So Frenchie, I think I've showed, but this one is called, and I'll put it closer, and I mixed them. So that's why you can see a little bit of Frenchie on there. 
but this one's called Hollywood. It's a pinky color, but it's got like gold flecks in it. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna mix those two, and I'm gonna use this side of the Buffy, and I have a towel here I just wipe off. I'll be 80. <laughs> Yes, the pink one is so pretty. So I'm gonna tap into the Frenchie and into this Hollywood. And I'm gonna put that right here. And I'm even gonna use that Frenchie on my eyes today. Make it so fast and easy. Just because you make item every B day in Christmas. <laughs> so if I buy it, or get you a gift every Christmas, or somebody gets you a gift every Christmas and birthday, that would be so awesome. All right, so now that I got that on, I'm gonna show you another bronzer that we have. So we have two bronzers. We have the Bella bronzer, which I put all underneath. We also have a powder bronzer, it's called Cayman, right there. So some people use that as well. I'm gonna use that actually on my eyes and when I'm a little bit darker from this, then sometimes I'll use it as a powder too. Um, but I'm just gonna show you, um, first I'm gonna, underneath my eyes though, I'm gonna use the vanilla dust just because I don't wanna put that Cayman under my eyes where it's lighter. So this is vanilla dust. And it's this amazing setting powder that's just real translucent and light, but works at the same time. So it doesn't make anything look cakey. Okay. So now, this is the new Blend and Tap brush, and I just got it in the mail, and I love it. Um, so I'm going to use this end right here. And I'm just going to take that Cayman and put a little bit on there. And I'm going to put that right here in the crease and above it. I can't believe, Tony, you're the only one on here. This is so weird. But I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm basically just recording myself making a tutorial. And I'm even going to, well, no, I'm just going to keep it there for a minute. I meant to put on the pigment primer. So I'm going to put this on because I'm going to put blush on my eyelids. And I really want it to stay. <laughs> so this is NYX pigment primer. Right there. Okay, so now I'm going to keep going with that Cayman. I'll scoot up a little bit so you guys can see. And I'm just taking it, I'm not being like perfect with it. I'm just kind of mixing it in. And I'm gonna put a little bit even down here on the lid. Okay, isn't that pretty? Just by itself, it's pretty. All right, then I'm gonna take this multitasker brush, the flat side. And I'm going to go into that Frenchie right here. And I'm basically just going to press that on the whole lid. See how pretty that is? So Frenchie is a lip and cheek. You can use it for blush. You can use it on your lips. I'm actually going to use it on my lips today as well. And I just decided, well, <laughs> I'm just going to put it on my eyes and see what that looks like. 
So if you bought Frenchie, you can get multiple uses out of it as well. All right, so let's talk about the mystery hostess because we um, we are growing. It, it, it keeps growing the uh, actual rewards amount and you have until the 31st. So if you don't know what mystery hostess is, there's a party link in the description and every time people buy from that link, rewards start to accrue and who whenever we stop this on March 31st, whatever rewards have accrued, one person will win it. So it was over $100 last time I looked and by the end of the month, it should be close to $200. Forgot to contour my nose. So then one person will win that and the, the way to enter is so easy. You just buy, you can buy one thing. Or if you're already a customer and you know you wanna buy an order, just put it in this month and make it easy on yourself. So once you buy something, you're entered to win. And then uh, on the 31st, I will announce who's gonna win all of that. So normally that's what mascara beauty artists get. So every time we make sales, we get 20% um, off of everything. And then we also get rewards back to use to buy, to buy whatever we want. And we even get um, half off items. So right now it's at three half offs, that particular rewards. <laughs> so you're so funny. All right, so now I just contoured my nose. I put Astoria down the sides and then I just put a little bit of amber down the middle. And then I'm just going to put just a teeny bit of the Cayman on there. But at the end, I'm gonna put my sunscreen on, so that's why I'm not putting a lot on. Okay, so for eyes, that's where we are right now. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of cupcake just right here. because I like leaving it really light and bright in the center. And then I'm gonna take the eyeshadow everything brush, and I'm gonna take the small end and go into that Cayman and go right here. All under the eye. And you see, I'm not being like super picky or precise. This is just like a summer look and you're in a hurry and you wanna look a little bronzed and putting it together really fast. So. Just like that. And then I was going to put on Georgia first. Georgia is a powder illuminator. Hey, Natalie. Georgia is um, a powder illuminator that we have. And I'm just gonna put that right here. So Natalie, you'll have to go back and watch because I did something with Bella that you haven't seen me do anyway. This is Georgia, it's just gorgeous. It's a golden shimmery color. And I'll even put a little bit right here. So now I was thinking about either doing for eyeliner, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a eyeshadow. I was gonna do Salem or Trust. Which one do you guys think? Black or dark brown? Black or dark brown, you guys tell me. And I'm actually gonna do the Frenchie on my lips too. And I'm gonna mix it with a different color though. I've got it right here, hold on. So I'm gonna do black cherry, trust, okay. I'm gonna do black cherry first after I line them. So I'm gonna line my lips really quick with indigo contour. And if you don't wanna line, so sometimes I do it, I really want that precise line, I'll use this little side. But if you just wanna create like a shadow of lip liner, you can also use this side. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. Trust me. <laughs> okay. 
So you can see how it's just creating that shadow and not making a harsh line. So that's an easy way to do it too. Okay, and now I'm gonna take that French, well, no, first I'm gonna take, I wish I, <laughs> I'm gonna first take black cherry. What I like about black cherry is everything, <laughs> but it's glossy too. And living in the desert, I have dry lips. So I like putting a gloss first. And then I'm gonna take the Frenchie, which is that one. And this is called Hollywood Natalie. It's so pretty, I mixed those two for blush. And then I'm gonna take the Frenchie right here. And it just turns it into like this neutral summer look. And then for lips, I'm also going to put on, and this will look, you'll see when I get the dark eyeliner on, this really looks good. Another little tip you can do is this is Rose Gold Illuminator right here. I've had this forever probably a year and a half. Let's just pop that right here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but you know, once you're working soon, $14 in a month is not gonna be that bad. You can buy one thing every month. All right, so also, if you're a lip gloss girl, you can also put gloss on it. And then I learned this little tip. So, you know, I had a little bit of this um, contour still left on here. You can put that right here. And look how it just made my lip look really pouty. Because there's already a shadow trying to go right here anyway. It's already there. I'm just accentuating it. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Uh, now we're going to do that... Um, Eyeliner, so I'm gonna show you how to do the eyeliner with a with an eyeshadow. All right, so we're gonna do trust first, and before I do that, I'm just gonna take this. I'm still looking, Tony. I'm still looking for something as a substitute for this. The trick to doing this is not looking at it. Like look everywhere except it. But you can see how that just kind of deepened my eyelashes with that. All right. So I'm gonna take the multitasker, the fat end. I'm gonna get trust on there. I might mix them, put a little bit of Salem. And let's see, I may have to do a mirror while I'm looking at you. So I just make a little line there and I'm gonna bring that down. I have no idea about makeup. The sun. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I know you're trying to cook and talk. Okay, so I'm just making a little line there and then I'm gonna pull it back. But. So I'm just mixing them because I want this to stand out. And 
And what I'm kind of doing is just pressing that in like the, kind of tapping it along the lash line. And then coming up into that. And then to clean up, take this end of the multitask, I mean the detailed hack, bend it over like this. I'm gonna dip it into my highlight color. Okay, sorry, I just saw a notification from my son. All right, and then, so just so you know, because you saw I did this pretty fast because I don't really care. I don't want, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you can just, if you're not really good at this, look at that. You see that? <laughs> you don't have to be perfect at eyeliner. You just do this. I just took a little bit of the sandy that I used all over my skin today. And then I just sharpened it. Okay. So don't be afraid to do eyeliner and think you're going to look crazy or make a mess. You can easily fix it. All right, let's move on to the other eye. So love that trust on your eyes. Thank you. I mixed it with the Salem because I didn't know if it'd be dark enough. But see how it makes, now that I have the nude lip with the dark, how it looks really pretty like that together. All right, so I'm putting more trust than Salem though. Get closer, please. Okay. There we go. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Okay, so <laughs> now I'm just going to draw that line right there and then I'm going to pull it back. How you doing? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, but you can see how when you put the sharp brush under there, how it'll just clean it up. You can see better now? Okay. It looks like I'm so close when I'm here, even when I was back a little bit, so I don't, I never know. So thanks for telling me. And a little under here. So Natalie, if you're still here, I put the Bella bronzer on my whole face first. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush. Hey Lynn, where is it? This brush, bend it. Put a little bit of my highlight on there, like just a teeny, barely tapping in. And then just clean it up. So Lynn, what I did is I put um, Bella bronzer all over my face before I even started putting makeup on. Just to give myself a uh, color. So I don't like using spray tans on my face or the can, the can spray, whatever it is. There you go, see, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just rub it in. There you go. And now I'm just going to put my mascara on. Here's another little tip. Um, this matte Wet n Wild primer works really well in the summer. And actually, my sister Tony told me about it. But then I figured this out on my own. Instead of putting it under, I just put it on my fingers after and just tap it wherever I get shiny. Like that. So that's just a little tip in the summer. And then I'll only do that once and the rest of the day, I will um, 
just blot with tissue if I need to. So I'll show my girls tonight. Oh, that'll be so fun. All right, I'm doing this on my phone, so I gotta be careful not to get it everywhere. Because honestly, I don't even think I brought a Q-tip in here. So, oh, every time, every time, and I don't have Q-tip. All right, another tip, you that, that's fine. Another tip you can do is let it dry and then take the spoolie and then it'll flick off. So we'll show you that tip today. Normally I just immediately take a Q-tip and roll it off, but eyelashes are being crazy right there today. But I think I know why sometimes my eyelashes get a little crazy because the sun comes up here at 5 a.m. So then I keep a shirt on the bed and this is what I'm doing. Like, I'm like, I'm closing my eyes and I'm reaching around on my bed and I'm trying to find the shirt and then I cover my face. Uh, just wanted to stop by to say hi. We'll catch on the replay when Danica is napping. Yes, watch, because I put, I put the Bella bronzer all over my face before I started and it just gives you a summer glow. I mean, you already have gorgeous skin, but if you get really tan this summer and want a little extra on your skin, you can put the Bella on, Natalie. Because for me, any kind of fake tan stuff makes me look weird, breaks me out, but that could just be my weird skin. All right, with that, I did a lot better. Okay, so there you go. There's your little summer look with your Bella bronzer underneath so you have some color. And let's see if this spoolie trick will work on that little tiny spot. There you go, pretty good. That's just another little tip. You wish you had my lashes, aw. You're so cute. That one's kind of bugging me. Okay, you guys, there you go. Got my Bella bronzer on for my tan. Got Frenchie on my cheeks, Frenchie on my eyes and on my lips. If you're interested in that mystery hostess and you wanna win um, the whole pot of rewards at, on March 31st, then you just, all you have to do to enter is you can just buy one thing. There's no minimum. So whatever you wanna buy, you can buy it on the link above and then um, you're entered to win and one person will win it. And so a couple months ago, I had $300 worth of rewards and bought so much good stuff. And then this last month I had 254 and both months I had um, four half offs at the same time, which is amazing. So it's so much fun and I'm so happy to give that away to somebody. So all you have to do to enter is just click the link above and buy something. All right, you guys, I even have something really cool to show you next Monday, something I haven't shown you before, and you're going to love it. And so anyway, have an awesome day. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.